Royal family fans have reacted with fury over an outrageous story from a U.S. blog website alleging Queen has died, something the publication is yet to prove. On Wednesday, blog website Hollywood Unlocked ran an exclusive story claiming the Queen had died. The horrific report began, socialites, it is with our deepest regret to inform you that Britain's Queen Elizabeth has died. Sources close to the Royal Kingdom notified us exclusively that Queen Elizabeth has passed away. She was scheduled to attend the wedding of British Vogue editor Edward Annan Full, but was found dead. Shortly after the story was published, the blog's founder Jason Lee defended the story, tweeting, We don't post lies and I stand by my sources. Waiting for an official statement from the palace, he added. He also posted an image on his Instagram account reaffirming his stance, taking a screenshot from his notes app, writing, regarding the Queen Elizabeth story. 1. I've never lied. 2. I've never been wrong. 3. I trust my sources. 4. I have yet to see an official statement from the palace saying otherwise. 5. It'll be at the Dunda concert tonight with ye. He wrote alongside this post, stay tuned. The story quickly attracted widespread criticism, with several people taking to Twitter to launch scathing attacks against the blog website over the claims. Author, screenwriter and celebrity MasterChef champion Emma Kennedy tweeted, Jason. This is a terrible mistake and I have no idea what you think you are doing. The Queen is not dead. Edvard J. at Edvard Ege, raged, how the hell do you post something without an official source? Literally anyone with a basic knowledge of how journalism works would understand that. Dio O'Quail, at Dio O'Quail, wrote, Hollywood unlocked posting the Queen is dead. There is no credible source that verifies this. False. On Wednesday, a seemingly fake Twitter account claiming to be the outlet, shared its deepest apologies to the royal family and called the mistake an embarrassing situation. The tweet read, It was an accident and we're working hard to make sure that this mistake never happens again. The intern journalist was misinformed and published the draft post by mistake. But Mr. Lee quickly responded to this by tweeting, Woke up to some fake account posting a retraction. We do not know that account and we have not retracted our story. There has yet to be an official statement from the palace. Staying tuned. Buckingham Palace has not issued any statement confirming the Queen's death. Official news sources have not confirmed this either. Last Sunday, the palace announced the Queen, who is fully vaccinated against COVID, had tested for the virus but was expected to continue with light engagements.